But as we're inviting family and friends over, we want to make sure that our guests with special diet concerns are taken care of. Right, and Chuck, yeah. this is very important to you. It is, because some people have made a choice for their lifestyle to be gluten-free. In our mm -hmm. family, we have somebody with celiac disease, That's which right. means this is really important stuff. So we're always going out of our way to ask, and then we have separate frying pans. You have to have certain utensils. So I That's think right. this is really important stuff. Yeah, so I'm glad we're talking about yeah. it. And we've got some helpful hints here for you guys, for your loved ones to avoid gluten, keep them healthy. I know what these are for. What are they for? Watch, if you have boys in the family, yeah, I'm just saying. Okay. Or a girl. Here we go. Yeah. Right, so the first thing we want to think about <laughs> is cross-contamination. Right? I am good at sword fighting. <laughs> cross-contamination, right? So you yep. saw how we were over there making pies. Before you went over and started doing some gluten-free cooking, you need to thoroughly wash your hands. Hot soap and water, right? Okay, yep. And then when we're talking about utensils, yeah. never, ever, ever use them for something that's going to be with gluten. You can have your own set your own or set. what we do now is we have shifted completely to metal because yes. it cleans, you throw it in the dishwasher as long as it's metal and you're not cross-contaminating. Right, you're, you're good. Yep. But if you're using plastic for something that's with gluten, you cannot use it right. for, some, for a gluten-free person. Now, let's talk cutting boards. It's not only important to keep it clean, just use a completely different cutting board. You guys do this for Charlie, right? And likely, Charlie, if right? you're going to make the choice, because the pores in here will hold whatever, mm -hmm. you probably go to a glass cutting board if, you're, if you're worried about the gluten. Right. Again, it's a stuff I'm, all, I'm learning. Right, yeah. right. So then, let's move over to food preparation. Okay. Right? So when you're out there on the grill, you got mm -hmm. your meats and your veggies and that kind of stuff going on, it's easy. Use some aluminum foil to keep their stuff separate, right? right? You don't want it to touch different marinades and barbecue sauce that might have gluten in it and make them And sick. how close are the buns made with real wheat? Uh -huh. So that's where this also gets kind of crazy. You, some people will take their spatula, right? Right. And you're going to get the bun, put it on top, get the burger off. So now you've got this cross-contamination. That's it right. It sounds kind of wild, but for people that have the disease, it can, it can mess serious. up the rest of the and day. And it's even a good idea to have separate condiments for them, yeah. right? Separate ketchup, separate mustard, because you know when we're in there rubbing it mm -hmm. into the bread, don't want to make anyone sick. So now let's head over to salad dressings. Okay. Salad dressings, gluten can be snuck in in all under different names. It's not going to say, "Hey, we've right. got gluten in here." Right? You guys know about this. Right. So you, if you if it says gluten free, you have to trust them. Right. Then there are some things that don't say it because they don't think they need to. Mayonnaise is mm -hmm. some things like that. But I just ask when you right. know you've got someone coming over. Just ask them, "Is this okay?" Because we're serving ranch dressing, and they may right. have a question. It gets it done. You know. It's fine. Yes, and when all else fails and you're unsure, it's easy. You yep. can make your own salad dressing with lemon and oil or lemon and vinegar. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, vinegar and oil. Easy. Yep. Just stay out of all the trouble, yep, right? Yep. And of course, gluten-free bread, everyone. They you can find that options. in the freezer section now, and there's a That's great right. bakery. It's like five mile and Haggerty-ish. It's mm -hmm. called Rumi's, mm -hmm. and they now have some of their items that are frozen as well. It's hard to find. Uh, but Rumi's has got fresh baked goods, birthday cakes, that's Everything. all we do, carrot cakes, buns. Whatever you want. And then if you can't make it to Rumi's, just head to the, every, Meyer has it. Everyone sure. has yep. the uh, gluten-free Udi's buns. And then always have some veggie options, right? And yeah. a fruit plate, a veggie tray, of course, again. Watch out for the dip and double dipping. Watch out for the dip and double dipping, which is <laughs> nasty to begin with. You know you don't want to do that. But always serve everything on a separate platter for the gluten-free yeah. people. Just a couple Good tips stuff. to keep everybody healthy and safe over the long holidays. So Jason